everyone and welcome back to my channel today i'll be continuing what if naruto had asta and asta's demon and the nine toes anyway without further ado let's get right into the video so after sasuke wakes up and sees that naruto's right there still powered up into his speed form just in case um him and Toby are having a conversation, basically arguing, and Naruto is mad because he knows how his parents died. He know because Karama's already told him, and yeah, so he's already mad at Toby. Like this isn't something that's normal. Like this isn't not normal, but this isn't anything new to Naruto. Naruto has always been mad at Toby. But he was trying to understand why, so he kept asking him questions in a manner that made it seem like he wasn't enraged by him. But Toby could clearly see that Naruto is is um stopping every is trying everything in his power not to um introduce Toby to the rest of the Uchiha can, clan. <laughs> um, so yeah. So, Naruto asks him, what's his name? Uh, Toby says, Madara. So, Naruto's like, okay, Madara. Um, why did you, like, asking him, why did you attack the Leaf Village the night that I was born? He told Naruto because when a female Chichuriki is pregnant, that's when the seal is the weakest and the tail beast has a more higher chance of retreating out plus your birth was top secret it wasn't made a big deal so there wasn't a lot of ninja around to defend you so i mean to defend your mom and naruto was like so you were willing to kill innocent people just for a tailed beast and toby was like you're missing the bigger picture if I would have gathered the tail beasts right then and there, if I would have gathered the nine tails right then and there, there was nothing stopping me from gathering the last eight, the last few, like the few eight that were out and running around. Now that, because I had the nine tails, it would have been stronger than most of them. Well, than all of them, really. So, Naruto was like, so your plan was to get the nine tails and beat the other tail beasts into submission. And Toby was like something around there. And Naruto's like, and what were you going to do after you gathered the tailed beast? And Naruto, after he asks his question, he notices that Sasuke is not awake. So he he um he helps up Sasuke while keeping his eyes on um, Toby, so he, Sasuke asks him, well, Sasuke gets up and was like, what's going on, and Toby was like, I was just getting asked a flurry of questions by your friend here, and Toby looks at Sasuke and was like, I'm pretty sure you have some too, and Sasuke was like, what are you talking about? I asked my questions to my brother. And he answered them for me already. And Toby was like, there's one that he didn't answer for you, though. And. And this, I'm going to. Yeah. So. um, If you well, you're going to be able to tell right after this statement. So Toby was like, don't you want to know? Why your brother killed the Uchiha clan. And. Sasuke was like. He told me it was to test his power. And. Obito was like. Don't be foolish. Your your father could have easily stopped. Itachi. In his tracks. When he decided that he was going to attack. The Uchiha clan. So. Stop being an ignorant child and think. Why would your brother attack the Uchiha clan? And he, like, 
he thinks back on it and he was like the um the senju like the leaf and the senju always had a quarrel going on no matter what era it really was so he just put two and two together and was like the leaf village elders and naruto looks back at him and was like the leaf village elders killed the uchiha clan and toby was like not necessarily itachi killed the uchiha clan but he had some help and naruto turns around and was like and whose help was that and toby without missing a beat he says it was me i helped kill off the uchiha clan which infuriates sasuke to a state that he's never been like mad at but he doesn't have the uh eternal magekyo yet because toby didn't have time to put it in and yeah so um naruto was like you need to uh sasuke you need to calm down because you still need medical attention And Sasuke um, promises to kill Toby no matter what happens. Or kill Madara no matter what happens. No matter who tries to get in his way, he'll kill them, then kill him. And Naruto um, grabs Sasuke and uh, tries to find the way out. And when Naruto can't find a way out, they get to like this very big open room. And Toby was like, you can't hide from me in here. We're hundreds of feet below the surface. And Naruto was like, so we are, you say? And he was like, yeah, I, yeah, we, we are hundreds of feet below the surface. And Naruto was like, oh, so in that case, he holds up his hand and he summons a tailed beast bomb. Like, he starts charging up a tailed beast bomb, but he's aiming it at the ceiling. So, <clears throat> he fires off this tailed beast bomb, which uproot, like, which destroys all the, like, which basically destroys the roof of the part of the underground facility that he was in. And as he does that, Toby disappears completely. Like, as the rubble's falling, Toby disappears. And then Naruto is able to jump out using the rubble that's falling as a means to, get, to gain his bearings every other time he jumps. So, Ita Sasuke, like, this entire time is, like, is in complete disbelief at that the the fact that the leaf village like that the elders would kill off the people in, in the leaf village so now like they're like naruto and sasuke are just sitting there and like naruto is making a camp and sasuke is like i can't believe that and then konan appears and was like, I finished gathering that information that you wanted me to gather. Uh, Naruto. And Naruto was like, good. Um, also, you might want to help uh, Sasuke with this whole um, eternal Mangekyo thing, you know. Yeah, it's um, pretty useful. And, like, she was like, yeah, but do you want to wait? And she was like, no, he could, you know. So... Conan gives Sasuke this pill, and when he takes the pill, he completely passes out, and when he wakes back up, he has bandages over his eyes, and he's wondering why he has bandages over his eyes, and Naruto's like, it's because you just got you my, your internal, and we don't know if your eyes are going to be sensitive to light or not, so... Sasuke was like, so I can take this blindfold off anytime I want to. And Naruto was like, yes. 
Yes, you can. Or you can put it on and hear me out. And, I mean, he was like, or Naruto was like, or you can keep it on and hear me out. And, like, that can, it confuses Sasuke. But he was like, sure. And he was like, so the information, before you took that pill and passed out, you heard what Conan said that, you know, she was helping me gather information. And he was like, yeah. And he was like, that information was the fact that um, Donzo um, didn't like the Uchiha clan. Never has, never will. And um, the Uchiha clan was planning a coup against the Leaf. And if that coup would have happened, then you would probably be dead or just locked up in a prison somewhere because you're an Uchiha so technically speaking your brother saved the entire clan from hundreds of years of suffering because if they lost that war then that's exactly what would have happened they would have been your clan would have been suffering for hundreds of years your clan would have never recovered and Sasuke was like so he did it all for the sake of the village huh and Naruto was like yeah all for the sake of the leaf village and you I mean shit at least you had somebody to look after you when you were when you um when you were little and the um the nine tails was like I kind of feel like that was a direct shot at me. Although I don't necessarily do shit. <laughs> um. So Naruto was like, but even through all of that, he still stood by the Leaf Village. He didn't. Uh, well, he did abandon the Leaf Village, but he did it under the under the belief that the Leaf Village would take care of you. And right before Sasuke was like, he's had enough. Like, right before Sasuke could say anything, Naruto grabbed Sasuke's shoulder and was like, but think about it. Now you have all the power you need to be the strongest. So we can go back to the Leaf Village and rule it the way we want it to be ruled. And... Like, he, Sasuke was, con- like, he was conflicted because he didn't want to go back to the Leaf Village at all. He really just wanted to, um, he really just wanted to kill everyone in the Leaf Village and just, like, leave it alone after that. Like, basically just kill everyone and just keep it pushing. But Naruto hits him with the proposal. What happens if the village elders somehow go up missing, what quotation marks, and then Naruto and his um group of pristine, pristine and strong fighters somehow um as you say help the leaf village recover and in turn they take control. And Sasuke was like, Oh yeah, and how will they go up missing? And Naruto was like, Oh, it's easy. That's where you will come in. And he takes Sasuke's headband off. Like, he takes, not headband, but he takes his blindfold off. And Sasuke finally is able to see with, like, with his eternal. And he's initially surprised. He's initially surprised because he, um, you know, he now holds his brother's eyes, the Renegon, and his own internal Magekyo. So... Conan was like, I've regathered the, I gathered, um, some of the village elders will be at this location tonight. And Naruto was like, oh, that's great. Um, so Sasuke, and he hands the paper to Sasuke and Sasuke was like, got it. And Naruto was like, I'm going to send Conan along with you just so you don't deviate from the plan and kill any unnecessary people. And just to make sure you don't get seen. 
And Sasuke scoffs at the fact that Naruto thinks that he can get seen as easily. And Naruto, well, Sasuke was like, he doesn't need anyone to go with him. And Naruto tells him that Conan's going with him because Conan has done reconnaissance several times over. She knows exactly where they're going to be and when they're going to be there. So it would be best for you to have someone like Conan on your side. So that way, nothing bad happens to you while you're there. And he was like, all right, fine. But you better not slow me down. And Conan was like, I'm really going to get tired of you underestimating me. And Sasuke jumps away into the trees and Conan dissipates in the papers. And Naruto's just standing there. And not Kurama was like, so are we going to finally fight? And he was like, yeah, but not out in the open. Of course, why would we? Uh, well, he was like, not out in the open because that's putting my body on the line just to fight something that's um inside my head what you mean i would have i would need my full and complete i would i would have to give you my full and complete undivided attention so it's best if we find some place secret to do this and i think i know just the place so naruto contacts killer b using a crow asking killer b could he take him to the place where he mastered the eight tails and killer B not wanting to wanting to get to know more about Naruto and how, how he became as strong as he is. He decided that he was going to take him to the air, to the location. So when they get there, Naruto was like, um, thanks, but I don't necessarily need you here anymore. You can leave if you want. And B was like, yeah, but just in case you don't win this fight, someone needs to be here to slow down nine tails until the rest of the villages gather themselves and figure out what they want to do with you. Well, with, yeah, with you. And Naruto's like, uh, you do make a valid point. So, why not? And Naruto sits down and B begins to walk him through it. But as B walks him through it, Naruto slips into his mind state. And he opens up the gate used by the Ninetales. But bef- like before the nine tails come lunging out, um, Lee Day walks up behind Naruto and was like, "Hey, um, did you forget about me?" And Naruto was like, "What? I didn't think you." And Naruto, <laughs> uh, Lee Day was like, "Nonsense, nonsense." Um, so are we gonna be fighting? And <laughs> Naruto was like, "Uh." technically you already gave me your full power so there's nothing else i can gain from just fighting you outright and he was like are you sure and naruto looks at lide like what are you offering and lide looks at him and was like he puts his hand on naruto's arm and was like i want this and Naruto was like, my arm. And he was like, no, we're going to do a deal. And that way, all the forms that you currently have, um, you'll be able to use their perks without actually having to transform into them. Like, basically, all of his forms are going to... He's going to have one transformation. So, Naruto was like, oh, well... Sure. So they do the deal and Naruto gets his little demon arm just like how Asta has in the main storyline of Black Clover. 
So Naruto was like, oh, this should be fun. And right before Naruto fight starts, he pulls out the uh, big sword. And the Naruto is like, all right, I'm not going to be holding back. And he runs out the gate and instantly charges up a tailed beast bomb. But Kurama, knowing that Naruto uses anti-chakra, he can't just constantly be using tailed beast bombs. He has to try to hit him. Or Naruto, or this fight's going to last forever. So Naruto, knowing this fact, he tries to get, like, he tries to keep his distance and try to get more precise shots with his long-range throwing abilities using the swords. So he's basically just catching the nine tails, tailed beast bombs and throwing them back at him for the time being. And when Conan and Sasuke get back to the original takeoff point, they realize that Naruto's already gone. And Conan was like, so he's going to go do that, I see. And Sasuke was like, what is he going to do? And... Conan was like, um, right now, he is doing something that benefits everyone that is his friend. And Sasuke was like, that's not specific. I need specific, on, like, specifics. What is he doing there? Like, where is he at? And Conan was like, everything's going to be fine. He's almost done. And Sasuke was like, but with what? And we flash back over to Naruto's, um, to Naruto's perspective, and it has been, like, some hours, like, some days, it's not, like, they've been, Conan and Sasuke have legit killed off almost every village elder, like, the only one, like, yeah, they killed off all the village elders, so, yeah. It's just the fifth Hokage and like the rest of the village is in panic mode because everyone thinks that the Hokage is next and they can't find Naruto or Sasuke. So like everyone's panicking and Naruto like when we get back to Naruto in the Nine Tails perspective, Naruto is just just now like just finishing up the conversation with his mom. But this time it goes a lot. It goes similar. Like she still tells him how they met and when, um, like what happened. And then she still helps him, but it's different. Like she sees that Naruto is far stronger and there's this other presence in Naruto helping him. And the nine tails, although he was neglectful at first, he did help on some instances and in some instances. So yeah. She smiles and she's proud of that. And. When. Naruto is finally finished. Done fighting the Nine Tails, The first thing that he does. Like before he even opens his eyes. He channels all the Nine Tails chakra. He can muster. Into his Renegon. And his Renegon goes from being purple to a orange renegon instead of it being a pupil it's just a slit in the uh, renegon instead of it being like just a normal black circle it's a slit so it's an orange renegon with a slit and killer b was like that's what sensed off about him and then naruto was like thanks and they walk out like they like they walk out and naruto like like right before he jumps away b was like so what does this mean for the rest of the world now that you've unlocked this new state of power and naruto looks back at b and was like you can only imagine what i have in store and this is where i'm gonna end this part off if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. Anyway, this is Mitch Shinobi. Peace.